Well, hello to my kindergarten and first grade artists. It's me, Mrs. P, just logging in to say hey, to let you know I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you once we get back to school. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe and like the videos because we're gonna be working together through the lesson plans that were left for you while we while we are going to be out of school. Of course, I left some really great art projects that I would love for you to work on, and I'm gonna help you work through them as well, if you choose to. Follow along with me in my videos. And of course, do I want your artwork to look like mine? Absolutely not. I'm just showing you how to do a few things. And I'm just, please feel free to use my artwork as just an example. The great thing about art is you can follow directions, but you can make your artwork as creative, as detailed, and as individual as you possibly can. So please feel free to do that. A couple of things, the same rules we always have for our art room. One, be nice to the people around you, the people in your household, your family, friends, whoever it is you're spending time with. I hope you guys are taking care of each other and being kind to each other, helping to keep each other healthy. Two, practice your self-control. Control your mind, mouth, and body, okay, while you're doing your work and while you're just out there living. So please be careful. And also, be as creative as you possibly can, just like I said. Also, I'm going to be drawing with a marker only so that you can see it a little clearer. Remember, I always suggest to my artists, please start drawing with a pencil first. That way, if you want to change something or you make a mistake, you can erase it. Okay? So, let's get started. I'm going to talk to you about some vocabulary words that I want you to know. And we're going to talk about the standards that we're working with. And I'm going to show you what our project is going to look like. And I am going to show you how to do a few things based on the project. We are going to be doing some drawing because we haven't had a chance to do much drawing this semester. So I wanted to make sure we got some in before we moved on to our next unit. And what we're going to be doing is drawing a self-portrait. A self-portrait, if you don't already know, is a picture of yourself. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use shapes to help us draw our bodies. Are you ready? Let's do it. Sorry for the technical difficulty I'm having here. All right. Okay, so here we are. This lesson is for both kindergarten and first graders. Our kindergarten vocabulary is self-portrait, shape, background, and size. We already talked about what a self-portrait is and we know our shapes and we're going to show i'm going to show you how to use different shapes to create your body we're also going to talk about the background we talked about what the background is it's all the empty space behind the objects in your pictures and we're going to talk about size because we're going to be using different size shapes to represent different parts of our body for my kindergartners our standard is vak that's visual arts kindergarten cr creating five Demonstrate an understanding of safe and appropriate use of materials, tools, and equipment for a variety of artistic processes. For my first graders, we have self-portrait as a vocabulary, background, size, and we're including lines because we're going to be using a variety of lines to help make our shapes. And we're also going to include pattern because I'm going to introduce ways to use pattern to add to your background. For our first graders, our standard is VA1, Visual Arts 1, first. CR, creating, standard five. Demonstrate an understanding of the safe and appropriate use of materials, tools, and equipment for a variety of artistic processes. So here's an example of what your portrait can or may look like. It's pretty simple for right now because I'm going to be finishing this lesson with you next week and I'll be posting a new video on the next steps. So for this part of the project, the first thing we're going to do is worry about drawing the image, what shapes we're going to use, the portrait, the self-portrait that we're going to create, and the options that you have for drawing your background or using this empty space behind your self-portrait. Let's get started. So like I told you guys, I'm going to be using a marker so that you can see a little better and maybe a little clearer. And 
and I'm going to start by drawing an oval. Usually our heads are represented with an oval shape or a circle shape. I'm going to use the oval because most heads are usually ovular. It means they're a longer circle. I'm going to use two lines under the oval to represent my neck. Can you see it? Excellent. I'm going to draw a line right across to connect those two lines. Then I'm going to take these two lines and spread it out just a little bit. I'm going to use a rectangle. You can draw a straight rectangle or you can add curves to it. It'll look more like a natural body form as your torso, that's your chest and your stomach. Then I'm going to take some rectangles or create rectangles by using two straight lines and connecting them. I totally have an arm. Let's do it over here too. Start up here. This is the edge of your shoulder. One line there. Go down a little bit. There. And then connect them. I'm going to do the same thing with my legs. I'm going to use rectangles to create my legs. One here. I'm going to start in the middle. And do what? Connect them. I'm going to start over here too. The other side of my torso. One line down. Start in the middle, just go over just a little bit and connect. I'm going to use some simple ovals, a little thinner for my feet. I'm going to use some curved lines, long curvy lines for my fingers. Draw them the best you can. And then I'm going to start adding details to my face. So I'm a pretty hip person. So I'm going to draw my lips and my mouth smiling. I'm going to just do a simple line for my nose. And I always tell my young artists, your eyes are kind of like football shapes. So if you want to draw, draw your lips at eyes and lashes if you want to. Eyebrows. I'm wearing my glasses, so I'm going to draw my glasses over my eyes. Two lines for there, right there. I'm going to add my ears and my earrings. Because you know, I always have one of my earrings. And I'm going to add my locks, which I'm going to use some curvy lines for. depending on your hair texture or the style that you want, using different types of lines usually really helps for creating texture or drawing the shape of our hair. I think I'm gonna add a necklace. We're gonna talk more about details next time. And for right now, I have my body. So I know the challenge might be, well, how can I draw my hair? If you have short hair, you might just draw a line at the top or if you have extra curly hair, fluffy hair, you could draw the shape of your hair. Give it a try. And you see how I'm just drawing over my lines? You don't have to erase too many things. You can just draw over things that you want to change. So I have my self-portrait. This is a picture of me. The next thing I'm going to do is start thinking about what I want to put in my background. Okay. Here's a word I didn't add in the vocabulary, but I'm going to teach you now because I know you're brilliant. It's called a horizon line. It's a line that goes from one edge of your paper behind you to the other end. I'll do it one more time. Start at one end, draw the line, but when I get to my body, stop. There's a space right there, draw there, stop and then pick it up on the other side. Now, I think I'm gonna be outside again, so let me start by making some fluffy trees. Being as though we can't do any, too, too many things right now to keep each other safe, I have kind of just been hanging out in my own yard. So I'm gonna have some curvy line patterns inside of my tree. 
I'm gonna add another tree over here. But you can add whatever you want to your background. It can be outside, and you can think of things that you see outside, maybe trees or other people's houses or apartments, hotels or restaurants. What do you see when you look outside? Think about those things that you might see around you if you were to step outside of your house or wherever you're living right now. I'm also drawing things behind other things. Lift up. But you don't have to do that. Feel free to stick with trees. We're going to add some clouds here. My sun. And since I'm looking for patterns, I'm just going to add a stripe pattern, a zigzag stripe pattern to my sleeves. So for right now, and for this week, I just want you to make your drawing. Make your drawing of your self-portrait. Think about the shapes that you're going to use to draw your body. And think about the things that you want to put in the background. You can keep them as simple as you want. You can be inside. You can be outside. It's up to you. I can't wait to see your work. Feel free to share your work with me through YouTube or through our team's messages. Make sure you get in touch with your parents. If you need to get in touch with me, please feel free to do that. And I'm looking forward to seeing your artwork. And most important, I'm looking forward to seeing you again too. Remember, for this week, the, our assignment is just to draw the self-portrait in the background. I'll check back in next week with a new video to show you what we're going to do to help finish our drawings. Until then, this is Miss P. I hope you all are well and keeping each other healthy. I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.